Lenny's and Bunny lovers, Lorelai and Lennon here today. Heart in the horse voice, I am getting over a little bit of a cold. No, it's not what you think it is. But today I'm going to be paying a visit to a really cool Japanese store called Daiso. Now some of you may or may not have heard of Daiso, it's actually very popular. But basically Daiso is like a Japanese dollar store and as you guys know, I love Japan and I love the dollar store. So my two favorite things rolled into one. It's a global store, which is great for my international audience. They have some locations, I believe in Latin America, Asia, of course, North America, including here in the US, California, New York, Texas, Washington. I'm not sure about Europe and Africa, but I will link all that information down below. And if you don't have a Daiso near you, um, you actually can buy off their website if you buy in bulk. I think it just makes more sense for them to ship in bulk because they are dollar items. But if not, regardless, you can still sit back, enjoy this video. Yeah, I went to Japan last year for my Rabbit Island video and I just love the culture, love the food, the minimalism, everything. I mean, I remember when I discovered this store not long ago and first walked in, it was just like those Japanese vibes hit me in the face all over again and I loved it so much. Honestly, Daiso is like better than the dollar store in my opinion. But basically, the purpose of this video is to show you all the cool things you can buy for rabbits there. As you guys know, that's my specialty, converting non-rabbit items into rabbit items. I did that as well for Ikea and Target. Very popular videos, I'll link them up above for you. So yeah, let's just dive right into this. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell and all that jazz. I just realized like it sounds like I'm asking a lot of you, but really all you have to do is just click like, click subscribe, click the bell, and then I will commit to being a slave to you for as long as humanly possible in making these bunny videos. And that is until one day I wake up and realize that like I just cannot do it anymore and let's just hope that is not anytime soon. All right guys, I'm about to head to Daiso. Don't worry, I'm wearing my mask. It is mandatory to wear a mask in LA, so before any of you guys freak out in the comment section, I was gonna wear it anyway. But yeah, let's go. We have to wait in line because they only let um, a certain number of people inside at the same time. Hey guys, so here's the first thing that I want to show you are these chair socks um, that you can put around the legs of your chairs or tables if your bunnies are chewing on that. I mean, how cute is this? I know like some people would be weird about putting that stuff on their furniture, but I just think it's a cool little bunny proofing mechanism. You guys, this is what I've been dying to show you. Look at these metal grids. Oh my gosh. Like, Look at the size of this beautiful square grid. This is actually a bigger size than the typical NIC grids that you will find online. Um, same with this kind of rectangular one. I mean, this is just like, honestly, I don't, I don't use NIC grids anymore really, but if I did, like this would be a dream come true. Cause if you buy more of the longer ones like these, basically you have to use less zip ties. I mean, <laughs> I just can't believe this is a dollar fifty, guys. A dollar fifty each. Like I'm just shook right now. Like I'm sorry, but you're not gonna find that at the dollar store or the ninety nine cent store. So, bye. We are totally canceling those places. This is the new. This is it. This is the new place where you're gonna get bunny proofing. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this is in their storage section. This is a really cool container because it opens from the front. I just went ahead and removed the lid for you so you can see. This is the perfect low-sided litter box for a senior bunny or a bunny with special needs or a bunny that has just gotten out of surgery. Like, 
this is just perfect. I can't even explain to you. This, it looks like a litter box that was made for a special needs bunny. I'm, I'm speechless. Like, I literally want to buy this for Lennon and she doesn't even need it. Like, that's how much I'm so excited by this find. Okay, you guys, I have been absolutely dying to share this with you ever since I saw it. You know how like the puzzle mats are really popular to put inside the X-Pens and stuff? I always talk about the dangers of using puzzle mats inside X-Pens and stuff like that as flooring just because the bunnies like to chew the foam. Um, but these are perfect, you guys, because they are literally like carpeted puzzle mats or like, I don't know what this material is. I guess it's like a, like a velvety, um, it's like a fuzzy. It definitely resembles like fleece or like a carpeted surface. And soft for the bunny's paws. All you have to do is connect them together like so, obviously press them in, and you can create like the perfect surface for your bunnies to run on. And they also have these other cool rugs that I think are perfect for under the litter box. Especially this one, it's super long, which gives your bunny plenty of room to leap in and out and have plenty of traction, as well as catch a lot of that hay fallout. We are now at the beloved pet care section. As you guys know, these cat flea combs work really well for bunnies. If you wanna learn how to DIY your own hair buster comb using um, something like this, just watch my video, which I will link in the iCard for you. It's a hack that I created several years ago and people have found it really handy. Either way, it's always good to have a comb like this on hand and for the price, you can't beat it. Next, nail clippers. I can't even express to you how important these are and these are perfect. This is like exactly what you wanna use on your bunny. They also have um, like a nail file, which you guys know I like using nail files on Lennon too, to kind of like finalize her nail clippings. Okay, I don't know what you would use this pet tray for, but like I just wanna buy it just because it's at Daiso. Okay, but in all seriousness, this actually looks like it'd be really handy um, for a special needs bun or a senior bun. Again, just because this grid here is perfect because the rabbit poop pellets aren't gonna fall into these um, little holes here. This is too small for that. So it's gonna catch rabbit poop pellets. It's gonna drain the urine down, which you can empty out. And then if you put the hay there, I mean, I think this is kind of cool actually. I might be interested in trying something like this for Lennon at some point. And we all know that bunnies love cat scratchers, which is basically just like corrugated cardboard. And uh, yeah, they've got like plenty of options here. Just make sure there's no catnip in it. Always make sure there's no catnip. Got these little travel collapsible bowls, which you guys know I love this kind of stuff. I have so many already. You just pop them out like that and I love them because you can just slip it right in your purse. You've got these soft pet brushes right here and these are actually, they work really well. These like rubbery bristled brushes, especially if you dampen the brush before you put it on your bunny. It just like sticks to these rubbery bristles. It's crazy. Oh my God, you guys. Look at that. It's a tie. It's a handkerchief. I, I can't even right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Just a quick disclaimer, there are always going to be risks associated with putting clothing and harnesses on your bunny, etc. I made an entire video dedicated to this topic, but I also urge you all to do your own research and use the utmost caution when making your decisions or when buying any new products for your bunny, including any that you might see in this video. I personally like using little accessories for photos and stuff, but I would never keep Lennon in these things for an extended period of time. They've got really cute retractable leashes and oh my gosh, you guys, check out these harnesses. So cute. I can't even, I'm so excited right now. So here we have some microfiber bath mats, which guys, this is like the perfect liner for a litter box. If you wanna be eco-friendly, you can totally buy a ton of these, throw them in the wash, you know, when you're cleaning out the litter box. And I mean, I would, I would even just give this to Lenny to play with as a, like a blankie that she can, you know, toy around with. Like, look how cute this is. It's like the perfect size. Oh, and it comes with two. That's perfect. 
I also want to point out that the last time I went to Daiso before this video, I did see like cute little dog beds and hidey houses of which I have a picture here that I'm showing you. So obviously what they have in stock is going to vary depending on when you go and when they get shipments, but I just wanted to point that out really quick. So here I've also spotted another uh, collapsible cup situation. This isn't made for pets necessarily, but honestly you could really use this as like a little travel water bowl. And I kind of like this more than the other one just because of its size. It's much more compact. It's really cute. So you can really like throw that in your pocket if you needed to. I also have some really cute like ceramic bowls and dishes for pellets and water. I mean, honestly, something like this is perfect for the bunnies to eat or drink out of. Okay, they have tons of like lint roller brushes, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm gonna pick up one myself. You guys, they have a bunny kitchen sponge. Like, how freaking cute is that? And again, plenty of storage for toys and food and treats in any of these containers. And last but not least, pee pads, guys. This is what I use in Lenny's litter box. And if you don't have liner, I recommend it. that's it for this video I hope you liked it I hope you were able to pick up some really cool ideas let me know in the comments below if you have been able to find any of these items wherever you live or if you have a Daiso near you I'd love to hear about that as well don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell and all that jazz and I'll see you all soon bye say bye Lenny